everyone. This is Stuart Weiler from Elite Engineering Services, part of the Elite Aerospace Group. And I am just going to be showing you some tips and tricks for MathCAD Prime. Uh, most of the tips that I'm showing you will apply to all releases of MathCAD, uh, but the one I'm using currently is MathCAD Prime 7. So if yours looks a little different, you might want to check which release you're using. Mine is MathCAD Prime 7.0. So I'm just going to show you some of the things located in the documents tab. And you can see, uh, I currently got a little bit of, uh, text boxes shown here. And 1st tip I'll show you is that you can drag your mouse across to multi select. So this works for all items, not just for text boxes. And then once you have items, multi selected, I can move them around, regroup them and such. As I see fit. I also want to show you now in the spacing sub tab, you can use some of the features here to add a new page, remove pages, uh, add a page break and regions. So as an example, you can see, I can add new page and now I've gone from. One sheet that will add a new page. Add another page down in below. Uh, I can also, of course, remove empty spaces as well. Then some other things about just setting up your worksheet. So these are some of the things that you might want to be doing before you start adding your formulas and calculations. You can set the size of your paper because keep in mind that MathCAD is basically a digital version of your engineering paper or your graph paper that you might want to be using. So you can set what size it's going to be. By default, it'll be a letter size, which for at least for the US is a eight and a half inch by 11 inch. You can set it to various sizes, so I'll keep it at letter, but just wanted to show that there are other options, uh, European standards as well. And you can also set the orientation by default. It's going to be portrait, but I can also switch to landscape. I'll keep it in portrait for now. Uh, and of course you can play with the margins as well. Uh, I won't get into that right now, but there are various options and then you can always customize to whatever you need. The other thing I want to show is that I can have my grid by default. You can see the grid is going to be there. If I want to turn that off, I can click on the show grid and it'll turn off the grid. And this is actually really helpful. If you wanted to print this document without a grid, I just wanted it to look like a blank piece of paper, but maybe I want to keep the grid just to make sure that I line everything up nicely beforehand. So I can put everything on my worksheet and then right before I finish, I can turn off the grid. And now it's going to print with a nice clean piece of paper. I can also change the size of the grid. So right now it's standard, but you can see when I switch to fine, if things get a little bit smaller, that does also bring things together. So you may need to reorient things if you change back and forth. Uh, another thing that's helpful is showing the major grid lines. And that's basically just adding every fifth box. So a five by five, and that also helps you with your spacing. So you can turn all of that off just by show grid if you're doing that before you print. And then uh, one other feature I'll show you is if you wanted to add a footer. So you can see now in your options of headers and footers, one thing that might be useful is you can add a footer and then you can add things like your page numbers. And maybe by clicking elsewhere in the footer, I'll position the next thing. You might want to put the date. So that's going to be the date that it was saved. Now I've saved this file today, so it has today's date. And then you could even put the name of the file. So maybe the location of it or just the name. I'll just use the name. And I can position those and then I can just double click back in the sheet to get out of it. And if I add multiple sheets, of course, the page number will increment. So each page is unique and then the date and the file name uh, are going to be tied to the file as a whole. So every page should have the same information. You can do the same with a header. That'll just be the same types of things up here. Uh, and you could put other custom things down here as well. I could put a custom text box, uh, putting whatever text I wanted as well. So hope those tips and tricks help. Uh, feel free to contact me, Stuart Weiler at Elite Aerospace Corp. If you have any other questions and I'll post some more videos on tips and tricks for MathCAD Prime. Have a great day.